full of passion, absolutely amazing queen, marketing director, 100K LTE earner, Pamela Pacheco. Did you make the call, Miss Pam? Tap of the morning, Killer Katie Ann, and a very happy birthday to you. Thank you so much for your servant leadership and your heart. Uh, Merry Christmas Eve, everybody. Welcome to the call. Welcome to the call. And how we say in our Hispanic culture, Feliz Noche Buena, right? Hope everybody is enjoying this morning and looking forward to just spending time with your family. So we're going to get right into this because it's definitely not about me. It's definitely about we because we are about to be blessed. Somebody said I look like Miss Claus. Yes, because I'm about to give y'all the goods this morning, right? But um, no, really and truly, man, I'm just honored and grateful and blessed to be here, blessed to see another day, right? And uh, more importantly, I'm super excited to have this special individual on the call. A lot of you guys, you know, know him. If you don't know him, I don't know where you've been at, right? But um, definitely over the years, he has been someone that has mentored me his leadership is second to none. I've seen this man evolve. I've seen him go from, you know, bed Brooklyn, right, um, in New York City to teaching and training and impacting lives all over the world. I mean, nobody has heart like him. His passion is on another level. His integrity is intact. I mean, when you think of someone that is a leader, automatically you know who Jay Peso is, right? When you think of someone who goes above and beyond for his team, you know who Jay Peso is, right? He embodies leadership. He embodies family. He embodies authenticity. He embodies success. And above all, he is an absolute blessing. So without further ado, it is my pleasure to introduce to you today our special guest, Mr. Jay Peso. Are you on the line, my brother? Yes, I am here, Pam. I am here. Thank you for that incredible introduction, man. Um, listen, uh, you know, when, whenever I hear anything like that about me, it just kind of like blows me away, you know, um, you know, because I'm so humbled and, you know, you guys are such great leaders and, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm blessed to be working with you guys. So thank you so much for that um, introduction. But I'm here, eight in the morning, Christmas Eve, morning we are here you got me locked and loaded so talk to me pam how are we gonna do this all right well we're gonna do this interview style you know a lot of people we have a lot of new people on the line that don't know you right they don't know you yet so tell me a little bit about yourself um you know formerly what where were you at in your life and where you're at today kind of let them know a little bit about who jay peso is yeah um so good morning everybody have merry christmas eve uh so my name is jay you know i, I you know like pam said i was uh born in, born in brooklyn well i was raised in new york whatever you know i was born in new york uh, raised in brooklyn uh you know i come from a you know just a hard working background uh, before i seen the you know the industry of network marketing i was uh uh, pursuing to be a uh, world champion. You know, I was boxing for about, uh, since I was like 14 years old. And that was a big passion of mine. I've always seen myself living this above average lifestyle. And, uh, um, and you guys ever heard the saying, if you're around 10 bums, you're number 11. I was just around like the wrong crowd of people. I ended up getting distracted. Uh, uh, ended up, uh, you know, going down some other routes and uh, uh, ended up, uh, you know, working at before it was, it's like right before I got involved, I was I, I landed the job at FedEx. I was there for three years and I was miserable. I hated the job. Um, I just hated waking up at six in the morning to get, you know, get to work at 530 to get to work and be there by 7 a.m. Just every single day. I hated taking orders. I hated to just like work for this lousy paycheck, man. But I did it every day because I had to pay bills. And then I seen this opportunity. Um, the way I came across it may be a little different from a lot of people, you know. Um, actually contacted somebody, asked him about going to uh, you know, Vegas and just to, cause it just piqued my my interest. And uh, you know, we met up and shows me this uh this beautiful concept of you know network marketing and it it really blew me away. Um I seen a way where I can create a residual income, change my life uh financially financially. And then, uh, then of course the product, um, I was like, wow, this is pretty cool. I think, um, you know, everybody should say yes to this. And, uh, you know, I got involved head first and I took it very serious. Uh, I, I think this was the first time I was able to, 
this is the first time that I saw the difference between being, uh, I guess, taking something serious and being super focused versus, you know, just playing around with it. I feel like, you know, when I was boxing, I was just going off of my talent, but I, w I wasn't really sacrificing what I needed to sacrifice to succeed. And uh, uh, when I got involved with this, I kind of took a lot of learnings and a lot of uh, lessons that I've, uh, you know, a lot of lessons that I learned in boxing and I just actually implemented it here um, with, uh, with our business. And within 15 months, you know, I became a, a six figure earner in the industry. Um, you know, it took me three years to hit the top level of the company. Um, nine years, I, I had a second position uh, that was uh, on its way to double IMD at regional marketing director. Um, I made millions, millions of dollars with this. And it's just, it's like um, more than anything, this is, you know, the money's cool and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, who I became in the process of everything is just, it, it was just something magical. I think even to, to this day, like my parents look at me, like I got three heads on my shoulders, you know, because, well, you know, without the personal development, development, we got nothing. And I knew, I knew there was certain, certain, um, certain codes that had to live by. And one of them was for things to change, I got to change. And I had to change my, my mindset and, uh, you know, just the way I talked, the way I was, the, who I was around, uh, just all of that, you know, and, um, that was that, you know, the experiences that, you know, I've been able to travel the world to places that I could only dream of. Um, and I was, I've been able to help so many people do the same exact thing. So that's a little bit of, uh, of, of who I am. You know, I love that because you're like, it's a code, it's a code that we live, certain codes that we live by, right? It's like for things to change, we got to change. And, you know, coming from someone that is, you had a background in boxing, you was, you were, like you said, you were just miserable and you just made a decision, right? You made a decision and six figures in network marketing in an industry that you've never done before. Something that is very, um, not, not really popular, right? In our communities, not really popular in our culture. And it, what was, what would you say was the biggest mindset shift for you? Because like you said, personal development, it's like you, if you're not growing, you're dying. Right. And for you to get to where you want to go, you got to grow. But what would you say was something that was just like it clicked for you in your mindset? What was something that you would say, man, this was just a mindset shift that just shifted my paradigm completely? I think <clears throat> what was the mindset shift? I think it was um, really I think it was the feeling about I think the, it was the feeling of just being tired, um, being tired of 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 my situation, um, being tired of, uh, being just broke and not being able to do what I wanted to do, not be able to help the way I wanted to help. Um, tired of waking up at five 30 in the morning, six in the morning. I'm not an early bird. You know, I know that people, people say, you know, early bird catch the worm, but there's a lot of us that, you know, are, are, are night owls, you know, and, uh, I go to sleep late and stuff like that. So, you know, even this morning was a challenge, you know, I had a, had a pre, Christmas Eve, a uh, couple of drinks last night, <laughs> you know, celebrating life. Um, but, you know, it was just, a, a, just being tired, man, of, of all of that kind of stuff, living that, that rat race lifestyle. I had, like, you have no idea how much I was, I was I, like, I, like, it was, I, despite going work like a nine to five, you understand? Like I, I just, it's, it, it gives me, it gives me the creeps. Like, I'm sorry, you know? And, and it was just, it, it was that, that time in my life where I had to make a decision, uh, a decision to, 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 to either change my life or stay the same. Um, and I think uh, with that decision comes with a uh, uh, sacrifice. And I think a lot of people, that need to make the decision are afraid to make the sacrifice. Um, and there's certain sacrifices in our life that, that we all, we all have different sacrifices. Right. Um, and I, I, I kind of knew off the, off the jump, what were my sacrifices? What, you know, what I had to do to get serious. And for the first time I, I you know, I talk, I tell people this all the time. I like my first, my three year run to hit IMD. I disappeared from everybody that wasn't moving how I was moving. Uh, you know, I, I was just uh, so lasered focused. Um, I've never even been that focused in boxing. Um, in boxing, I, uh, I, I took a lot of things for granted. Um, you know, and, uh, 
uh, I didn't understand the sacrifice that you needed to to put in. You know, I you know I just it was one foot in, one foot out. You know, I could I could you know I could work a little bit as long as I'm going to the gym every single day. I don't I could still you know go out and party. I could still do this and I could still do that, but not nah, it it just don't it don't work hand to hand like that. I think a lot of people don't a lot of people don't really understand the the fact of when you first start something. There's no kind of uh, what's the word I'm looking for. There's no, no balance, right? And that was something that I needed to, to I needed to to understand. Um, so I, I mean, it was it was a it was a click. Uh, it was it was like just a, a switch that happened. Like I got involved with 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 the business, and um, the next day was like it was all you know. That's all she wrote. You know what I mean? It was like I never looked back, and I was like I got involved, and it was on. And every day I got a little bit more excited because I plugged into the system. Um, you know, and I think that's a beautiful thing that we have. You know, is a system. You know, because so, some of us need some type of structure in our life to 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 keep us on that line. And uh, I just paid attention to all of the successful people that were around. And, you know, I've heard, you know, I was listening and hearing stories or maybe even audios that I was listening to. So little by little, it was like brick by brick. It was building up, but I was paying attention to those bricks that I was building with. Um, it, you know, a lot of people don't, 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 I guess, not aware of, of the bricks that's given to them. And so they just place it sloppy, you know, and, and it just don't, it doesn't come up as the wall that it should, should be, it'd be all crooked, this, that, so, so, because your, your, your focus is not aligned and, um, and stuff like that. So yeah, man, um, it was a, it was a being tired at some point, you got to look yourself in the mirror and ask yourself when, when, you know, when is this going to change? You know, when, when am I going to take my life to that next level? When am I going to drive the car that I want to drive? When am I going to stop crying over bills and over debt? And, um, you know, when am I going to do like, at some point you got to go, it has to be now, right now, it has to change. And, you know, I had some, I had a talk with uh, some friends yesterday and, uh, you know, we spoke about, I had seen, I, I, I had seen, uh, uh, Kevin Hart, I seen a video from Kevin Hart and he had said something about, um, he had, damn, what he said, he had said something about the hardest thing, the hardest thing to do in life is believe, right? Because you got to wake up every day. You got to wake up every day believing, but also every day you wake up, you don't have it. You understand that? And he says, the hardest thing to do is believe every single day and go to work believing that it's going to happen every single day, even though every day you wake up, you don't have it. Because at some point, um, it's going to come, it's, it's going to come to the light. It will be, um, you know, it, it whatever you you know what you focus on expands uh you know what you know the, the 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 power of the tongue is real all that kind of stuff what would you you know what i mean so it's like again i woke up every single day without it in my hand but it was it was a belief that kept me there to to know that one day it was going to be mine the life that i wanted was going to be mine and be, so belief is everything you got to believe more than anything else you got to believe you got to believe more than fear more than you have fear. You got to believe that you're going to do it more than your, your friends believe that you won't do it. Um, so, and you know, it was, uh, you know, a lot of, a lot of factors that played a part, but it all ties down to being tired. And when you're tired, you start to believe faster and bigger because you're that tired. That's so good. That's so good. That's a word. That is a word. And I love that because you're like, you know, you were just sick and tired of being sick and tired, right? And it's like, it's like that story that we hear that the dog that's sitting on the nail and then it's like, but why is the dog, why is the dog is like killing him? He's like, it's just not hurting. It's not hurting enough, right? And that awareness is key, but it's like you said, you know, you made a decision because you were sick and tired of being sick and tired. It's like, you can make a decision to stay the same and complain, or you can make a decision to be like, nah, this is the life that I want. And you said something that was really, really deep because that belief, right? That belief goes hand right hand in hand with 
just having faith that is going to happen. But that belief level, would you say that it kept increasing as you kept in, as you kept in putting in more work on yourself, as you kept sacrificing, as you kept seeing the your growth from within? Because I believe that success is an inner outer game, right? It's like you have to believe it, like so that you can receive it. Like you said, you were expecting what you didn't see. You were expecting the life that you deserved, the life that you wanted, that it was already yours, right? So great, so so great. Mm -hmm. What is something that you're like, you know? If I would have learned this sooner, it probably would have saved me some time, or probably would have allowed me to get to where I wanted to get to faster. Um, relationships, right? Relationships. Um, I look back at because I grew up different. Like I said, you know, I said I used the word cold um, earlier, and it's it's, it's certain. Um, I grew up a certain way, and certain things you don't do, and uh, just to me, I mean, at least how I grew up, and uh, is a code that we live by. And in business, you you tend to realize that um, those 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 codes kind of like. They, some people, some people, not all, some people throw them out the window and the relationships you've, you've built, you look at it kind of like, wait, whoa, 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 this is, you know, this doesn't happen in, in the other world. And, you know, and this is kind of crazy. So I, the way I handle certain situations in the past is I, you know, I, 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 I wish I handled them a little different. It, you know, I would have, I would have, you know, I, everybody would have made more money um um you know and uh knowing even i was i might have been right at the time but it's not what you say is how you say it and and at some points emotions get in the way and we can't we can't let our emotions take over because when you do um, you could just ruin a lot of stuff, you know, you could ruin a lot of stuff. And, and <clears throat> so I, I, I would say how to win friends and influence people was what should have been a book that I read like my first week in the business. Um, I read that book later on, you know, I read that book later on. And when I read it, I remember reading some chapters and thinking about some situations that I could have literally handled a, 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 a whole different way and I didn't handle it. And I'm like, damn, if I would have handled it, the, if I would have read this book, I would have handled that situation so differently um, because I knew what it would have cost me. Um, so a lot of the times um, you, a lot of the times your emotions are getting in the way and you feel like, yeah, you know, you try to like, handle something a certain you know a certain way but sometimes you just got to leave it alone and just you know know what card to play with and 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 how to, and how to move your your piece on the chessboard because life is definitely a chess game it's, de it's definitely not it's definitely not checkers and emotions kind of sometimes make it checkers you know what i mean um if if you do then good if you don't i really don't know how to you know word that any other way um but relationships was something that i and it ain't like don't get me don't get it to because a lot everybody's different right Every, everybody's different it's like you don't have to be relationships like oh my god oh my god hi oh my god and like and show this fake love right because there's a lot of people that build relationships and with fake love and then at some point that breaks you know at some point you know it's like it's not solid ground um, because it's just your fake person and you can't be fake. Everything has to be, has to be genuine. Um, and, uh, it's, if it's genuine, then it'll be, it'll last longer, you know? Um, so I'm not saying you got to oh, all relationships. So you got to like be friendly in this, and be you, but understand, um, if you handle situations a certain way, it'll, you know, you, you'll save yourself a heartache. You'll save yourself a lot of money. <laughs> you'll save yourself, uh, and, you know, relationships down the line, you know, um, they say relationships are, are, are more, are worth more than money. And I believe that, you know, um, and that's why I live by a certain code. So 
I think, yeah. Um, if I would have, that would be something that if I would have started all over again, uh, this whole situation, uh, nine, nine years, I would have definitely put my emotions in my back pocket for a lot of situations, knowing that, you know, maybe they were in the wrong, but I should have handled it different. I mean, thank you. Your transparency is what people needed to hear, what people need to hear, even myself. And I feel like you know, a lot of times we see people at these ranks and we see them in certain levels of life and living this lifestyle. And we think that it, they just got there. It just happened overnight. We think that they didn't struggle. We think that, you know, you didn't make any mistakes. And I want to say that that's a mistake, right? But like, I, like you said, it was a lesson learned. And people will give up on business all day long, but people will never give up on family. And I totally wholeheartedly agree with what you said, because it's like, you know, you know how real a relationship is as soon as you disagree on something. <laughs> right, you could, you right. Could tell how quickly somebody Ooh, feels. That's good. You could tell how real a relationship is, and that's why it's like <laughs> for me, it's, it's all about authenticity because authenticity is really what's going to, you know, propel those relationships to another level. But it's yeah. like you could tell how real a relationship is as soon as you disagree on something, right? Mm -hmm. And um, thank you so much for that transparency and that authenticity. As we transition, you know, I've seen you continuously grow. And it's it's a blessing, and I see, and I see, and, I, and you haven't even scratched the surface. And I say this with all love and respect of where God is taking you, and I know that wholeheartedly, right? I see you, you know, transform into this amazing husband and father, and it's just a beautiful thing to see. And it's just amazing to continue to just hear your heart, right? Continue to just hear your heart above all, and seeing you prosper, right? I see you just rolling with the punches. Like you said, you know, when emotions are high, intelligence is low, less, those are lessons learned. But I see you just pivot quickly, right? A lot of people, champions adjust, and it's very easy to say champions adjust, and it's very easy to say leaders are those who bring certainty to an environment where there isn't any. Well, I've seen you leading from the front. I've seen you every time it's on, it's front line. You know, I see that every single time, and thank you. Thank you for that. Congratulations on your most recent accomplishment of hitting Ruby in our new compensation plan in our new company, right? What is something that you're like, you know, what is driving you? What is driving you? Because mm -hmm. at this point, it's like you already have, you've already attained heights that people would love to be at. You have already you're living a certain lifestyle. You've already accomplished so many things. But what is consistently driving you to still take it to the next level? Um, I think it's fear. I think it's fear. Um, uh, fear of going backwards, you know. Um, I think uh, Jay Z. I think Jay Z. I, I think I heard Jay Z a couple a while ago. I, I watched so many interviews, and I think I caught an interview that he had said same thing. They asked him, you know, what keeps you driving, and you know, what keeps you going forward, and. Uh, he said the fear of going back. Um, and it's crazy when I heard that, I'm like, wow, he's damn near, he's a billionaire. I don't know if he was a billionaire at the time or about to be a billionaire. You know, I'm like, but he's a billionaire, you know. Um, everybody has that fear. I think uh, when you never had anything and then when you got something, you're scared to lose it. Uh, that can cause a lot of anxiety. That can that can cause a lot of overthinking. Um, you know, um, it's, it's a scary feeling to go back to like, to even like you have the back in your mind. Imagine living in Bed-Stuy again in the building that I grew up in. Yo, no way, no way that can happen. You know what I mean? I mean, I, I remember doing a photo shoot um, back around my way for uh, the, uh, some magazine, um, the Voyager magazine. And I stepped into the building for, for the first time in a couple of years. And when I stepped in the building, it was pissing the elevator. You know, it was dirty, just a dirty hallway. And I just couldn't believe how dirty and how dirty it was and how like it was the, the stench in there. I'm like, I was comfortable with this and I, I wasn't aware of it because when, excuse my language, well, I won't use that word, but when you, when, when you, when you're in the crap, you don't smell the crap. Right. It's only until you leave and then come back, you start to smell all the crap that, that you was around. And uh, that's kind of what happened to me. And I was like, whoa, you know, what I mean, I got like a wake up call and it was like a scary feeling like, oh, no, we got to keep moving forward. Um, so that's one thing that what, that drives me is fear. Um, this, the, 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 um, the second thing that drives me is inspiration. 
um, um, being inspired by others, uh, seeing people that that's accomplished, like uh, Jesse McPherson, um, seeing him hit Crown Royale, um, knowing what the numbers behind Crown Royale, it's it's you know it's ridiculous. Seeing him being in the industry that I've been in for nine years, him as well as nine years, he's a Crown Royale, and I'm in the situation that we're in. Inspiration. What situation that we're in? Transitioning. You know, transitioning and, and, and basically, you know, starting starting all over. Um, it's a fresh start. It's an incredible start. But you you put things in perspective. Like, yo, I've been in, in this nine years. You know what I mean? And I haven't hit a rank where I could make a, a million dollars a year. You know, I think Crown Royal does about two million a year. You know what I mean? And it just hearing stories from other networkers like they got in. They've been in the industry six years and they doing four hundred thousand dollars a month. You know, six, seven years doing four, five, two, three, four, five hundred thousand dollars a month. Like, yo, I know they're not working as hard as me. They got a better comp plan as me. That, that was what was happening. That, that's what happened. You know what I mean? And uh, now we all have that opportunity to do the same thing. So it's fear and then it's inspiration. What are you inspired by? I'm inspired by a lot of people that um, I'm inspired by a lot of women um, that are winning on, on a high level, uh, you know, because I've seen men um, win for so long here in our company. And now that I'm paying attention, I'm like, wow, man, it's a lot of women out here really killing, really killing this game, you know? And it's like, you know, what's the difference between, you know, winners and people that are not winning yet? And, you know, I, I kind of look into them like, oh, man, uh, it's, it's just inspiring. So. So those are two things that, that I think um, really pushed me. Um, fear, inspiration and family. Three things. Um, and then, you know, what keeps me in the game is God, you know, because I have so much faith. Uh, without faith, we have nothing. Uh, um, you know, I remember getting a question. About uh. two I, I remember getting a question about two years ago um, and it was like, yo, Jay, man, like, how do you feel? How do you feel about, you know, about things and that's what's going on and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, you know what? This like two years ago. And I'm like, you know what? I don't know. I'm not really bothered. I got a lot of faith that everything will work out, you know? And I think them even them asking me that question, they wasn't expecting that answer. And when they got the answer, they was kind of in shock. Like, what? Because, again, when you ain't got no faith, you ain't got nothing, baby. And no matter what situation you in, it does not matter. It does not matter. You got to have the faith that everything is going to always be okay. It's always going to be all right. I heard from a friend. I heard, I heard from a friend. Um, actually, I'm a, yeah, I'm gonna I'm state his name. I'm give him, I'm gonna give him, I'm gonna give him his flowers. Uh, uh, I'm on on this call. Um, but my man Zeke from LA, we was talking the other day, and he had said something that his dad has. I, I used to tell him, you know, and uh, I had asked him, how, "How are you? Are you okay? You know, just you know, just having a conversation, uh, conversing for those that like you know, don't like to use conversation." <laughs> So, uh, you know, um, we was we had this conversation this other day, and um, you know, I asked him, how, how, you know, how are you? How you know, are you okay? And he was like, you know what, my daddy used to say, you know, no, I'm not okay, but everything will be okay. You understand that? It's like that's good. Yeah. It's and when I heard that, you know, I'm like, yo, that's good. You know, that is true. You know what I mean? It's like, no, I'm not OK, but everything will be OK. So let's keep stepping. Let's keep moving. And that's that's cool. You know, that's cool. I just got chills right now. You know what I mean? And uh, that was just a conversation that me and a friend had. And I was like, yo, that's real talk, you know. So, you know, faith, man, um, fear, inspiration. Family and faith. Wow. That was a word. I mean, you've been just blessing us. Like Santa Claus ain't got nothing on you today. I tell you that. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, man. So while so many people are turning up in the season celebration, and I'm never going to be the person that 
please guys mind please do not mind uh please don't mind the noise in the background uh they decided to cut the grass today so champions adjust i'm just going to talk a little louder but while so many people are turning up in this holiday season and i'm all about family i'm all about rejoicing in this season what would you say is a reason why you're turning up in the business or why should people be turning up in this opportunity and not just turning up in this holidays? Um, when, when, again, when, when you got a dream and it's that big, then nothing else matters. Right. I mean, I've heard somewhere it says, you know, it's, it's, it's a holiday, not a holiday week, holiday month, it's a holiday. You know what I mean? You take your day and do what you got to do with your family. But you got to understand, you got to wake up in the morning and, and, and get on your grind. I mean, the, the whole the, the dream is to 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 the, the dream is to. Have Christmas every day, your birthday every day, um, celebration every day. Um, you you, you want to get up and leave whenever you want to get up and leave, like no matter like that's the dream. Um, 98 percent of the world, they live by this, 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 this thing where it's like the weekends is like a big thing to them. The holidays are like a big thing to them or nah, man, we got to be able to live life whenever we want to live life. You know what I mean? Like it is what it is. If I want my son to have Christmas again in January, then he's going to have Christmas again in January. You know what I mean? Because it's not about just that one day, you know, um, I live in abundance. Um, you want to have an abundance mindset. Um, with abundance mindset, you got to have a work ethic like no other. If you're not where you want to be in life, why are you worrying about all this, all the stuff that the 98 percenters are worrying about? You have to do two. What you got to do two percenter action. What is two percent of action? It's sacrificing those holidays. It's sacrificing your birthday. I mean, you know, there's so many people I've seen that go crazy for their birthday and they're broke as shit. Excuse my language. I, I, I don't remember like going so crazy. Like I, like when I was, I remember my, my birthday always, my birthday always, uh, when I got into World Ventures, it was like The View, like all week. So it was no celebration for me. At The View, I have dinner with friends and that was that. Like it was like kind of celebration stopped for me until I got my dreams done. You know what I mean? Until, well, you know, until I got my dreams done, until I got to where I needed to be. So I, I just used as an example because so many people, again, oh my God, it's so and so. And they do this whole big thing. And it's like, yo, get your life together. Get your life together. So it won't be special for one day only for, for the, in the whole year. You know I mean, live your, don't just live your life on your birthday. Don't just be excited on your birthday. Don't be excited just for Christmas Day. Don't be excited just for New Year's Day. Like you can have this that same type of excitement and celebration every day if you just play your cards right. Um, and that all comes down with what goes back down to sacrifice. That that sacrifice. That sacrificing stuff. You know what I mean? It's, it's all gonna go back to to um um. Um, un an unbalanced life for for a little for a season of your life, you know what I mean? Like it's it's no balance. Like what you want me to do? It's like, oh man, I can't I can't make it out today. I can't do this. I can't do that. Why? Um, because I got goals. That's why. Because I got goals, and when you got goals, you you I mean you you got to do whatever you got to do to to hit those goals. So this season, um, on top of all of that. We are um, in now in secret and we have a fresh start, a clean slate. Um, the comp plan is the, the best comp plan in the industry. Um, the, 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 the stories that we create right now in the time that we're in right now is what matters most. See, me building my business um, um, nine years ago when I first got started, the story that made me a millionaire was Jay Peso made $3,000 his first four weeks. Get involved with the business and he made $3,000 first four weeks. That story made me a millionaire. No, it wasn't the big crazy story. It was a story of I got started. I waived my fees within a couple hours part time. And then within four weeks, I made about $3,000. And a lot of people made it. I didn't know it was a big story. A lot of people made it a big story. 3,000, I'm like, 3,000, everybody, why is everybody so excited about that? But it was, it's not the money, it's the story. Facts tell, story sells. And right now, 
we're in a, a season where we can create thousands of stories. You can get up and create thousands. Of stories. You have to erase what you've done in the last year, two, three, four, five, six, seven years you've been involved with WV. You have to erase that. You just got started four weeks ago. You just got started. It is a mental shift that we all need to make right now. And unless you make that, that mental shift, you're going to drag the baggage that you had for the last three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine years. And you don't want to drag that baggage. I have baggage that I don't want to dra drag into this new season because it's all going to hold you down unless we all understand that this is a clean slate and we are trying, not trying, we are working to build new stories. That's all that matters right now. You know, if, if you don't realize that, then you're in trouble. If you got involved with this and you watching everybody else around you succeed and, and start to pop rank and you're not trying as hard enough, then, man, it's, 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 it's it, you still win. I'm not saying that you won't, but I'm telling you right now that the gas that you put behind it right now is the most important gas. It's the most important part of the game. It's the beginning of the game. It's how you start the race here right now. It's how you start the race. It's not, I don't know. I know the saying is it's not how you start. It's how you finish. I get all that. I get it. But we got we to gotta worry about starting on the right foot right now. Because these are the stories that's going to matter in the next two to three years. These are the stories that's going to pop. These are the stories that's going to become seven-figure yearly earners. So, yes, uh, uh, again, um, we have Christmas tomorrow. Today is you're going to be probably with family. I don't know. 2020 got a lot of things weird, you know. Um, but don't just don't don't mentally be in a game. Michael Jordan and all these basketball players, they got Christmas games. So what Michael Jordan had, you know, now is your, your boy LeBron James, right? Noel, right? <laughs> right? LeBron, you know, and all these guys, they play um, basketball on Christmas. This is why they get the big checks. You know what I mean? In, in, in WV, um, we couldn't, it was different because we were selling a membership. Now, Christmas, you could pl play the game. See, most entrepreneurs on Christmas and holidays, on rainy days, are staying in. Then 2%, the 2 percenters of the entrepreneurs are knocking on doors, are making the phone calls. So I heard from Jim Rome says, when it rains, it, when he goes, when it rains outside, that's when you work because most entrepreneurs, the fake ones are home, basically. You know what I mean? It's just worded a little different, but that's basically what he said. When you're raining, when it's raining, go out and work because everybody's staying home. And the same thing with holidays. So that, that helps you get ahead of the game, you know, get in front of the ball. Um, so it's time like, no, like never before to get focused, you know, and, and that's, that's where I'm at right now. I'm super focused. I'm relearning stuff. I'm, 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 I'm going back to all, all the basics. I'm going back to everything that I've been, that I've read when I first got started in, in my WV uh, um, journey, um, books that I read, things that I've listened to, audios that I've heard, interviews. Like I'm just going back to it all and, and just starting from scratch and, and reminding, uh, you know, just, just reminding myself. And again, I'm in a different place in my life. So now a lot of things that I'm listening or reading it's hitting me differently and I'm understanding it on a whole different level right now. And I'm like, Whoa, okay. I needed to do this. So, um, yeah, that's where we are. And, uh, man, lock it's lock and load time. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, man. This has been amazing. If, if there is anything that you just have on your heart that you want to leave the people with, go ahead and close out the call again. Thank you so much. I know this was another sacrifice. I appreciate you dearly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you always. Well, you, you know, much. this, this is what I'll tell everybody, man. Um, it's not that, it's not that hard. You know, it's not that hard. It's, 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 it's about trial and error. Um, it's not about knowing everything. It's not about being perfect. It's about trial and error. This is how you win in life. This is how you're going to win in the game. How much trial and error can you do though? How much, how many times can you mess up? How many, like so many people want to, oh, man, I want to know how to say the right thing. And it's not, we can't do that. You know, even me, even me, you know, getting involved with this, 
uh, or we're not getting involved, but you know, doing in, in this transition, I'm trying, I'm thinking, oh man, how am I supposed to like talk and like, uh, man, I've been doing it one way the whole time. And all right, I need to like, it's trial and ever go make the mistakes, go mess it up. That's how you're going to get good. That's how you become better. It's practicing. Every time you do something is practice. Every time you call somebody is practice. Every time you present is practice. Every time you put on a, some lotion is practice. Every time you take the greens is practice. Everything is practice. Practice, practice, practice. And I know Iverson said practice. I don't practice. Well, you got to practice. Every time you play the game is practice. You're going to get better. Do time. The, 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 the thing is, how, how much are you practicing? Are you messing up? enough every single day to get better. See, and, and, and this is how the world works, right? This is how life works, right? If you are doing, if you show 100, right? If you show 100 in a year and I show 100 in a month, who got better faster? If you show 100 in a year and I show 100 in a month, who got better faster? That's all it's about. It, I, I got better faster. Yo, how's how's Jay or how's this person or how's that person succeeded so much? Because they're 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 messing up on the way. They're messing up as fast as possible. They're messing up as fast as possible. Fast is fun. Slow is painful. And you cannot mess up if you're not practicing. And practicing is actually doing the work. It's not it's not about reading. That's not practicing. That's not taking notes on this phone call. That's not practicing. This call and these books are here to prepare you for what's to come because I've been through what a lot of you guys are going to go through or, or are going through. And I'm here to tell you, this is the way keep going, keep going. The books that you read are the same thing. There's people that's been through the things that you're trying to get through this trying to get to, and they're telling you, they're giving you, they're giving it to you, and you may not understand it now. And this is the reason why we're three, three years down the line, four or five years down the line, you go back to that same book and you go, wow. Wow, now I understand what this book meant in chapter two, in chapter three. So practice is action. Take action now. This, these, the 2021 is going to be something special, but it's all about locking in. It's all about believing that you can because there's so many people out there that are in worse situations that you're in that believe that they can and they will or they have. So with that being said, believe that you can. Write your goals down. Uh, uh, cr create vision boards. Dream Big. Don't be afraid to dream big. So many people, uh, so many people are, are even afraid, like get nervous. Like, you know what? I'm not gonna put a million dollars a year. I'm gonna just I'm gonna put a hundred thousand because that sounds more realistic. No, you have to dream big. I read something the other day. And I'm, I'm sorry, I'm gonna let you guys go right now. But I read I read something the other day where it said, um, it said, if you want to be rich. If your goal is to be rich, um, then you then you then you'll make you then you'll be a, a pretty good middle class. If your goal is to be rich, then you'll be an okay middle class. But if your goal is to be wealthy, then you'll be rich. So it's like kind of like shoot for the moon, land on the stars type situation. Wow. And, and that's the thing. So many people, 98% of the world wants to be comfortable. And because they want to be comfortable, they really get in, they really just get in position of poverty. Because I, we live damn near on a um, escalate, you know, the escalator. The, the escalator's going this way and, and, we, and we're moving forward. You understand that? And if we stop, the things, you know, once you stop fighting for what you want, what you don't want automatically takes over. So shoot high, as high as you can. There's a lot of people that were in worse situations than you that made it. You know, one thing that you got going good for you is that you was born in, 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 in the US. <laughs> so take advantage of that, you know, dream big and go hard, no excuses. Anybody that complains, it's over for you. Complainers don't win in life. 
And that's why you said rolling with the punches, you know, you got to learn how to roll with the punches. You got to learn how to, you got to learn how to roll with the punches in life. And uh, it's just cause, cause the punches are going to come no matter how you put it, the punches are always going to come, but roll with the punches. And uh, once you do man with action, you you'll be able to win that fight. So, um, you know, God bless everybody. Merry Christmas. Uh, you know, pray today, pray tomorrow, pray every day, you know, speak your, your life into existence, what you want out of life. I believe that. I believe that everything that's spoken through the tongue you'll get, but with action, you know, God is also looking to, for you to do your part, you know, and, um, and that's that. So God bless everybody, man. Merry Christmas and have fun with your family today. Yes, thank you, Jay Peso. You guys, please make sure to show Jay some love. God bless you, Hazel, Jonas, your team, your dreams. Thank you so much for being a blessing to us always. Love you much. Blessings, bro. Take care. Merry Christmas, thank everybody. You. Love, you love you more. This has been your Breakfast Club call for Thursday, December 